Let's imagine for a moment you were a growing shrimp, and your shell, your protective armour, no longer fits. A simple problem, really. You'd lose it and grow a new one. Same if you were a lobster or crab. But that's only half true if you're a hermit crab, a species that has developed a more complicated protective adaptation process. Like many cycles in the natural world, they have marvelously evolved in a time-honored method which has ensured the survival of that species. And it is a perfect reminder of impermanence. Today, let's try a thought experiment. Imagine, if you will, that you were a hermit crab. First of all, you're not a true crab at all, but an animal more like a lobster. And second, you live within a group of crabs, so you're not truly a hermit. Still, given those misnomers, you are unique among animals covered by a protective armor. The top half of you, including your legs, is protected by an external covering, called an exoskeleton, but that's missing on the rest of you. Instead, your long, spiral-shaped abdomen and tail is soft and vulnerable, and needs the protection of a borrowed shell. So unlike other crustaceans, you have a unique job to do as you grow. You must find a larger shell to protect your vulnerable body on your bottom half. This requires you to abandon the now too small shell you've been carrying around and find a larger one. A potentially tricky task for you to accomplish. Ideally, you can find a shell from another animal, after it's been discarded, but not destroyed or damaged. Turns out the shells of sea snails, with a similar body shape, are best. But other shells can be used in a pinch. Size is everything. You don't want one too small. You've already got one of those. Nor too large, which would be too heavy to carry around. And what makes matters worse, other hermit crabs are also looking for shells, and there may be a scarcity of the right size. So what's a hermit crab like you to do? If you and another hermit crab of similar size looking for a shell come upon one that would suit both of you, you could fight over it, even to the death. Or you could just wait in your cramped shell to see what your adversary does and take the shell it has abandoned, assuming it's bigger than yours. If several of you come upon the same shell, you could form a line from smallest to largest, with each one of you trying on the new shell in turn, and an organized transfer of shells can occur. Finally, if all else fails, you can find a temporary substitute, like a can or other piece of debris, realizing that whatever home you choose to live in at this moment, it won't have to be forever. This home-finding cycle will happen several times over your lifespan as a hermit crab. It's a complicated task, but given the genetic cards you've been dealt, you won 150 million years worth of games with that hand. But you have to keep playing it, realizing that every game is a new one. It's ever-changing, like everything. So, as you go about your day, perhaps thankful you are not in fact a hermit crab, consider the myriad ways your own body is able to adapt to an ever-changing world.